Okay. February. February. Hello? It's February, y'all. I didn't think you want to see this family. It's time for look out February. Look out, look out! February. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very late again, which is unlike me. Okay, I swear. But it is February now already, it's a third. Okay, I'm sorry. Who knows how long it'll take me to edit this video. But I am going to do my favorites of Feb or my lookout February. Damn. She was pretty good. She was pretty good, I must say. But let's start with L for lookout listening to. So I think I wrote a few of these down at the very start of the month and it was even sort of what I forgot from last month. But definitely the new June Rats album, I really liked Don't Talk, that track. Just very loud and play it full volume in the car. It's great. It's along the same genre, Death to the Lads by the Smith Street Band. Um, a lot of my friends know how I feel about that song. It's some kind of connection. But the lyrics actually really, really beautiful for such a great, harsh song. I really like it, which is, I don't know, I don't feel like I don't usually like that kind of music, but both those tracks have been really big for me this month. Also, opposite end of the spectrum, but King of Grime, it's not Stormzy, it's Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. What a great mainstream track. Um, a little bit sick of it now, but I wrote it down. Definitely was feeling that at the start of the month. I think it's one of my vlogs as well of me singing to it. That was the first night I found on Apple Music and just played it over and over again. And I really quickly also just wrote down black eyed frickin' peas because my friend Annabelle gave me the CD at my year six birthday party at Sizzler, which if you're Australian, you know what that is. The black eyed peas, I don't even know what it's called. Beginning is the end album, the really green one um, with all their big songs on it from whatever, 2006, whatever. Yeah. Such a good album. Every song is insane. I still know every word to this day. Ooh, Rock That Body, Meet Me Halfway. Oh, the list just goes on and on. Alive. I, oh, I just, I love the Black Eyed Peas still. Um, the O in Lookout, the first O. Ooh, yum. Um, I found it hard just because I think I used up my Sriracha and ginger last month which is still carrying through but also tuna i ate my first tuna wrap today i'm really poor so i'm trying to eat economically and i've always just not i think i've always just been against the idea of fish in a can and the stank to it um the stank i had a bite of my friends i've been more leaning towards it i feel like my tastes are changing i had a bite of my friends like fresh little tuna wrap and it was yum and made myself one at work today and it was so good and I didn't even have mayo or cheese or anything in it. It was really just, I will had sriracha all the way through it, but it was literally just salad, tuna, and like a yummy garlicky wrap. And it was so good and I feel like I'm glad I stocked up on tuna because that's all I'm going to eat now. And also a big favorite, like an all-time favorite of everyone, hot chippies. I just crave them all the time. Obviously, okay, they're a freaking bad food, but they are so damn good and... There's just, every couple of days, I'm like, that is what I feel like, is some hot dang chips. They are so freaking good. Special shout out to Yardbird Chips, garlic and parmesan. Mm, they do it. They know, they know, they know how to do it. Second O, on my back. Um, these necklaces, I got in Indonesia as well, are so nice. Um, I got three of them, one for my friend, which I'll give her tonight. And so I'll keep the other two. They were literally $9 and I think they're just really pretty and well made and islandy and cool and you just chuck it on and it dressed up this whole like baggy orange outfit thing I got going on and a dress I watched into the other night um, and goes well with an island tan for a tropical beauty. 
Oh, my American jump, which I've mentioned in my other closet video, but I literally just got it from the secondhand store, five bucks. Cool little details on it and sort of a turtley neck for like a light jumper, so it's good for Brisbane and I just really like it. I literally grab it anytime I'm going out the door, especially if I know I'm going to the cinema or to a shopping center or something like that. Um, also, this Sunday social dress, I literally picked up. It's this little boutique-y alternative store in Brisbane and there's one in Melbourne now in a little alleyway and they have pretty expensive stuff, but the little rack out the front is everything for $20. And I got this awesome little black dress, LBD as they would say in Sex in the City. But it's really baggy and sort of strappy and I don't have the cleavage area to not wear a bra, but then I had the idea of wearing it with this little halter neck top and it, I really like that outfit and everyone complimented me on it that night, so I've worn it every time since that I get the opportunity. Okay, in Lookout, kept watching YouTube edition. The only thing I had written down for here was Kimi, and I'll link her down below. She is obviously, okay, another mukbang person, I'm sorry. Is she in Australia? She might be in America, or she might be in Australia. She's just really hilarious and nonchalant about the videos and anything she's doing, and she's serious, hard out, Korean mukbang. Go for it, girl. Sh spicy noodles, kimchi, the whole nine yards. She is incredible. And I just really like the video she makes. It's my entertainment. That's what entertains me. Other people choose other things. I choose to watch a YouTube video occasionally here and there. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't have anyone else written down. Did I watch any other YouTube? Not. It's been a busy month, so not really, but Kimi, definitely. Podcasts on YouTube, which is part of this sort of section. Oh wow, is my O in out. Oh wow, things I've been impressed by. Bali, obviously. Indonesia the little trip I went on it was only a week but the resort was really nice and the people are beautiful and the food was amazing and the beach was beautiful and the pool was beautiful and the cocktails were beautiful so you can't go wrong if that's just you just want that basic beach ass holiday that's what you get that's what I wanted it was pretty cheap it was quick it was easy would definitely go back, would maybe stay in a different area. Um, but yeah, Seminyak is good, obviously, if it's just like your first pop over time. To Bali. Joe Rogan, uh, his podcast, and the, he actually films it all and puts it on YouTube too, which I think I prefer that medium of watching it, the conversation. For some reason, I just absorb it better. I'm still listening to it when I walk um, in my car. It just, I, there hasn't been that much music recently, so I've been more feeling that and I'm very unsure about Joe Rogan he says some pretty crazy things but I scroll through I'm not just listening to every single thing he uploads I'm not obsessed but I scroll through to a good guest and they're really long episodes like two and a half hours so it's good to I don't know go back in the podcast app on my phone saves where I'm up to and the conversations is really good and really really interesting I find them extremely engaging I feel like you don't maybe contradicting myself you don't should not just listen to one side of everything no just fill yourself with one sided media maybe listen to one of these just see if you like it they some he has some really smart people on there who know what they're talking about in their specific fields and it's just an interesting thing to listen to once in a while something else i was impressed by was the university that I go to's diary that they release. Every year they do like a little diary for the students. It's free, you just go collect it from the place. And this year they'd actually sold out, not sold out because it's free, but fully run out of diaries, I think from O week. And I got back from Bali and wanted one to organize my life and university to feel comfortable again. And they, everywhere I went, they told me it was gone um, and that I could maybe get it later in the week. And then I finally found a help desk with a sign that said Yuku Diaries here 10 a.m. Wednesday or something so I had my first class at 8 and then got home and realized it wasn't until 10 I could get the diary so I quickly walked the dog and then on my way to my doctor's appointment stopped at uni parked illegally sprinted in there was such a long line I had to wait in line and then fill out an iPad they had about five iPads going you had to put in your details and then you could get a diary but you walked in and the there was a choice of five diaries and they're all kind of this style with like a different styly bit on the front there. 
just very chic very plain cool insides like big enough for me to write everything weekly which i like but great job uq student union or whoever does this Woo! yeah um i really like it it's cute i might put some sushi stickers on but i don't want to ruin it i feel like i always do that with my belongings um i'm a very stationary obsessed person for um what the fuck And I don't know what I've been disappointed by or angered by. I guess the people I flew with to Bali, Virgin, it was pretty shitty. Very small leg room for any kind of sleeping or just leaning or just not being like this. No food on the flight, international flight. I didn't know this was such a thing anymore and sort of didn't sell any water. Okay, yeah, Virgin. Didn't sell bottles of water or water you could get a little tiny cup of water, they would pour it from a bottle and give you that. You could only buy sparkling water in a bottle. I don't know if that's because they'd run out of their stock. And they made us pour out all our water after we'd gone through customs, you couldn't take a water bottle in the plane, which I think is kind of ridiculous. The old couple in front of me couldn't bring theirs. Once you've been through customs, we could have bought it in the airport or something like that. I don't know, maybe I'm in the wrong, but I just thought that was a bit ridiculous. And that was fine. I might just cut this part out because I sounded kind of dumb. And then finally, T tuning in. What have I been tuning into? Um, a movie I watched, not on the plane because there was no entertainment, no TVs, no nothing, not even the main ones that come down in the middle of the screen. Okay, yeah, Virgin. In Bali, we had kind of shitty Foxtel um, in our room and would sort of lie down with exhaustion every night and just watch whatever was on the movie channel. And one night was The Equalizer with um, Denzel Washington. I'd never seen it before, Angus had. It was awesome. It was badass. He's literally just like the sickest CIA, ex-CIA agent ever who now works at Home Depot and gets promises his wife who passes away that he'll never go back to his sort of like brutal killing machine that he was in his career. And then of course he gets drawn back into it for, um, I was really impressed. Denzel was really good. It was a good storyline. It kept me enthralled. And last night, I haven't watched much. I've been doing other things but last night i went to the cinema and saw logan the new wolverine movie i'm not a massive x-men fan like i sort of have flashes of the old movies jennifer lawrence being blue stuff like that don't really know any storylines into action movies though i am i just haven't really watched the x-men movies i don't know why it just hasn't been I've been watching other movies. It just hasn't come around in my life. But my friend really wanted to see this last night, so we went. I was very unsure and standoffish about this, but I'm unsure about Hugh Jackman myself. But it was really, really good. I enjoyed the entire movie immensely. Hugh Jackman was fine. He was really angry the whole time, but the storyline was good. There was like a few funny bits, really good action. My friend said it was slow, but I didn't find that at all. I was glued to the screen the whole time. Um, I wonder, I, I just liked the storyline, the way it was set out. It was really well done, which I think is weird for a fifth or sixth. What number is this in the series? I don't know, but it was a really good one. It had like, the only reason I went was because the reviews were so good and it lived up to that fully. I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed February. Thanks February, bye.